Stephen, you know, this season brought us some real insight into the family history of key characters. Why was that something you guys wanted to explore in more depth this season? Well, I think a, a large part of it had to do with historically in film and television, when we're telling narratives about LGBTQ plus people, those stories are always rooted in our trauma. You know, we, we very rarely get to see our celebrations. We very rarely get to see the joy of what it means to be queer or trans. A lot of times those narratives are also, they begin with are being untethered from our family. You know, it's it's our family kicking us out, it's people discovering our, you know, who we are authentically and then suddenly we now have to go forge ahead and 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 find community and I think what was really critically important for us in the writers room when discussing this final season is to show the fact that a lot of these people are actually still connected, that we as LGBTQ plus people are still absolutely connected to our birth families. We really needed to honor all of the complexities of that. So even if my relationship to my parent is as tenuous and difficult as Electra's is to her mother, that that's still a relationship that takes up emotional space and weight and it deserved to be honored. Thank <laughs> you.